Good morning, guys. Ooh, okay, autofocus. Today, I'm going to be starting a new kind of experiment with my writing schedule. On Monday, I shared a video about toxic productivity and word counts, and I think that was probably the most like intense comment interaction in the comment section that I've ever had, especially within the first 24 hours of a video, because I think this is just a topic that weighs on all of us all the time. We want to be productive, and yet we know that that goal, that quest for like ultimate productivity really just kind of zaps all of our motivation more often than not, right? So in that video, I shared that last month I had a couple of super high word count days in a row all kind of leading up to one day where I wrote 11,000 words between nine and four. And how I'm actually very proud of the quality of those words because I got into the zone or flow state or whatever you wanna call it. I was just like my whole, everything was in that story for three hours in the morning and three hours in the afternoon and that was what I produced. And I think what I want to try doing is I want to schedule one day a week. It might not always be the same day depending on my work schedule, but I want to schedule one day a week that is just a flow state day for Dragon Balloon. That's my goal. Not a set word count, not hitting a certain scene or beat or whatever, but just the whole day working on that book and getting into that zone. And this is gonna be a challenge for me because I am super focused on word counts because like I said in that video, it's not always healthy, but books are made of quantifiable words and we do have to write the words eventually if we're going to produce the book, right? And I also know the way my brain works is that because the last time I had a really good get in the zone day, I produced 11,000 words, some stupid part of me is going to be disappointed when I inevitably do not produce 11,000 words today because I really don't see that happening. And I can't let myself be disappointed about that. I'm going to do my absolute best to think of this as a flow state day and not a high word count day because there is a difference. In the past, I have had super high word count days because a deadline was coming up and I was crunched and I had to make it. And those days are not fun. And then I've had super high word count days because I was in the zone on the book and those days are super fun. And that's what I'm aiming for. I am not aiming for this. And that means I can't think about today with the goal of hitting 8,000 words, 10,000 words, whatever. I just want to get in the zone. Okay, so first I definitely need some coffee. It is currently 8.48, so I'm, I want to start at nine. I just want to have a nice nine to noon block and then I'm gonna take a break, take a nice long walk with Rosa, have some lunch, and then get back to it in the afternoon. So coffee first, and then before I start, I will very quickly share a few strategies that I have in mind that I'm gonna put in place today to keep myself in the zone as much as I can. Okay, it took me like five minutes to open two files just because, you know, new laptop, I'm still figuring out like where things are on this laptop and where they are in iCloud and making sure I'm like working in the right document that's going to save to the place where I want it to save, you know? Maybe this isn't complicated for other people, but it I have gotten myself in trouble before and like panicked thinking I lost work because when I hit save, it was saved to a different place than where I thought it was going anyway. That's over now. Okay, so here are the few things that I'm gonna be doing between now and noon to try to get myself into the zone. First of all, I lucked out this morning and Rosa got some really, really good playtime with one of her friends at the dog park. We don't always see friends at the park in the morning and so she got nice and worn out and I'm hoping she will not come in here at 11 o'clock and start harassing me for an hour to leave. Second of all, I'm definitely going to be using the timer on my phone and 
I think what I'm gonna just do is start with 20 minute sprints with a five minute break, like the classic Pomodoro, whatever it's called. Because when you're sitting down to do something and you know if you think of it however you're thinking about it like a big word count or hours and hours like a big chunk of time it can feel intimidating so i'm going to start out my day by just thinking 20 minutes i'm going to write for 20 minutes and maybe i'll increase the the time as i go on throughout the day or maybe i'll just keep it to 20 minutes we'll see and the last thing i'm going to do is i know myself and i know that i have a really harsh inner editor who is going to want to go back and constantly reread and critique every single thing I wrote and that's going to both slow me down and really kind of kill my motivation and I don't want to do that so I'm going to uh, take my own advice because I know I've talked about this in other videos before because I've done this technique and it works really well is I've got my TARDIS notebook here and as you can see I've got a page with a check and a page with an X did I say that right yes so every time I get to something that needs editing, like a terrible piece of dialogue or a character I haven't figured out yet, I mean it could be a small problem or a big problem, anytime I get to something where I feel the need to stop and like pick at that problem, I'm just going to write it down here. Just like brain dump it, get it out of my head, I'm going to fix it later, here it goes. And you know, when I write something I really like or when I have like a light bulb moment for the story and I'm excited about it. I'm going to write it over here on the checklist. And the goal is that, you know, hope, eventually, hopefully, I'll end up with a lot of stuff that I like about the book that will keep me motivated as I go throughout the day. And just getting those annoying little editing ideas out of my head will help me keep going through the first draft. And then when I'm finished, I'll have a nice edit letter that I have written to myself so I'll know where to get started on revisions. So that's it. That's how I'm going to do this. And I think it is now... Mm, 904 so we are going to get started wish me luck okay that went pretty good i think 20 minutes and i actually mostly kind of zero drafted this scene again i know that's gonna sound weird um i do have save the cat open and i did write a zero draft of this book but some of the scenes aren't as fleshed out as the others and some of them this one in particular changed a lot when I decided to make this book YA instead of middle grade and so the zero draft was just like of this scene was especially messy there was a, a lot of stuff that just still didn't work and I don't know so I re zero drafted it in my doc and now I have like a very clean idea of what this scene is going to be and I'm going to go back and, and write it out. But that's going to be on the next sprint. I'm going to take about a five minute break and then get back to it. Okay, yeah, that very last sentence I wrote was like, that's going on the change list. Anyway, okay, so I forgot to count how many sprints I did. Five or six 20 minute sprints, does that math add up? But it's just about noon. Um, and yeah, I feel really good about what I have so far. When I zero drafted at the beginning, I think that was about 1,000, 1,100 words-ish, and then I started at 13,000 words, that's where my draft was today, and now I'm at 15,414, so feeling good about that. This is all in one scene. This is a long friggin' chapter, that might be a problem, <laughs> but that's okay, I'm gonna keep going for now. I'm almost to the end of this chapter, but I do wanna stick to my little rule and take my break at noon, take a walk and get some lunch and see if I can do this again in the afternoon. But I feel like that was a very relaxing morning and I think I did a good job of not obsessing over the word count. I did glance down every once in a while to see, you know, where I was, but 
every time the timer would go off, I was surprised. And I feel like that's a good sign. I like I was getting into it. Um, afternoons are almost always harder for me in general to work. I work much better in the mornings. In the afternoon, I get a little bit slower, a little bit lazier. So we'll see how that goes. But so far, I think this is this is working out. I like this. Let's see how the second half of the day goes. The afternoon slump is real. It's like 2.15 and I was so not motivated after lunch that I actually set the timer for 10 minutes instead of 20 just to like make myself feel like it was doable <laughs> just to do 20 minutes and I, I got some more words in but I think for now I'm gonna call it for the day. Not counting the 1100 I think words of zero draft that I wrote I got about 3,000 words on the draft so I went from about 13,000 to 16,000 which is great I'm not allowing myself to feel disappointed because I knew I was not going to get 10,000 words today days like this I wonder how I even managed to accomplish that in the past like I don't even know how I type that fast I don't I can't it's not something I feel like I'm even physically capable of doing every day. It's so weird. Anyway, 3,000 words is great. It's only 2.15. I found that I'm trying to get back in the zone, but I'm not. My mind is wandering to other things that I have to do and that I want to do. Um, for example, I, I think I mentioned last week that I just, when I got my new laptop, I also got Final Cut. And over the weekend, to edit Monday's video, I used Final Cut for the first time. So I was watching, I'm in the middle of a Final Cut tutorial that's super helpful. So I've been learning with that, playing with that. I kinda wanna upload this footage and play with it a little bit cause it's fun to mess around in there. And I've got some other kind of smaller tasks, emails I need to respond to, things like that, that I need to get on. So I don't know, if, if I, think I can get back into the zone and do another sprint later on this, then I will and I'll vlog it. But if not, I am just going to call it a good day because I made good progress on this draft. And tomorrow morning is another Dragon Balloon day, but I'm gonna go back to word counts. I think I set a goal for myself of 2000 words tomorrow. And I also need to put together my presentation for, um, I'm doing a little presentation at TLA's virtual conference on Thursday. And Thursday afternoon, I am getting my second vaccine and I have remembered this time to schedule that I am not going to, I, I might potentially not be able to do much work on Friday because the first shot did kind of knock me out a little bit. And I'm gonna just assume that the second shot is gonna knock me out too. Um, so yeah, I will pick this back up tomorrow. We will we'll have Lisa's live stream and I'll try to get another 2,000 words in on this book. But yeah, keeping track of this, this does help. This helps me feel better about the things that I don't like about the draft. And I was very successful today at not scrolling up and rereading. I don't think I did it even once. So I do feel really good about that. Just sometimes it's hard to work in the afternoons. I don't know, if you have any tips or tricks about how you get back into the zone, after a break let me know sometimes i can do it and sometimes i can't and today is just one of those days where i can tell i'm just not in it anymore and i don't want to force it so that's enough rambling i'm gonna study some final cut and take care of some little tasks and we will check back in tomorrow morning The live stream starts in about 20 minutes and I just thought I would sneak in one little sprint before it began and I just stopped and looked at my numbers and uh, that's a little bit creepy, but okay.
Okay, so we are in our first sprint, which is just a five minute warm up sprint. And I already got actually close to a thousand words before this sprint. So I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to make a poll. I really love doing these polls and I have a topic for Monday's video in mind and I would like to get your thoughts on it. But I'm unsure of exactly what to ask because Monday's video is gonna be about the mid list and like conceptions about the mid list and what it is. So let me have a quick think and then I'm gonna see if I can come up with a good mid list based poll. So I got my 2,000 words for the day. The book is at 18,000 words now, hooray. And I kind of had a flaky moment and scheduled a grocery pickup for noon, even though the live stream goes till noon, so I'm gonna have to bail early and go get that done. But uh, that's it, I got my writing done for the day. I'm gonna work on that presentation in the afternoon. Feeling pretty good about things. All right, be back in a little bit. Okay, we are done for the day. It is 3.45. I finished the presentation. I put together a flyer. We got 2,000 words in today. Updated NaNoWriMo. Feels like it was a really good productive day. Productive. I'm starting to feel kind of dirty every time I say that word now. So that's gonna be it for my work day today. I will check in tomorrow because I do have more Dragon Moon scheduled. So like I said yesterday, uh, I'm getting my second vaccine tomorrow afternoon, right after this presentation. Like I'm gonna have to shut it down and drive straight to Kroger where I'm getting the vaccine. Are you getting impatient? Yes, she's getting impatient. Um, and I, like I said, I'm planning on Friday and maybe even part of Saturday just being like pretty zapped of energy the way I was the first time. So that means tomorrow morning, I do want to see if I can get another 20,000 words on Dragon Balloon in, which will put me at 20K, which feels pretty, pretty good, pretty solid. Um, if I remember, yeah, the scene I wrote today, uh, and I got about halfway through it where I left off, is the first debate scene. So one more debate scene and then break into two, and then we're in act two, which is pretty great. So uh, we'll check back in tomorrow and see how things are going. morning <laughs> uh, so I got my 2,000 words in on dragon balloon and we are officially at 20k very excited about that and it's 10 20 um, I might work on this a little bit more today but if I'm being honest I don't think I'm gonna get to uh, because I've got that presentation coming up uh, I think at like 1230 I want to run through it make sure everything's okay both just in terms of like the presentation itself but also technology <laughs> and uh, you know got to take Rosa out and then I'm gonna have to go get my vaccine so probably that's gonna be all of Dragon Balloon today but I'm feeling good about it I, I continued taking my notes and there's a lot I really 
love about what's going on, but I have identified one, not big, but moderate sized revision issue I'm going to have to work out that has to do with the catalyst. It's not anything I would call a plot hole, but let's just say it's a little flimsy and I have to give it a little bit, give some reasoning behind why the thing that happens happens a little more structure, if that makes sense. Um, but I don't think that's going to be that hard. I just need to think about it and I'm not going to let it stop me from moving on and drafting. So to review, I definitely want to try the flow state day thing again. I think it's interesting that on the day Tuesday that I gave myself all day to work on this book and to try to get into that zone, I wrote 3000 words. And then on the days where I had things to do in the afternoon and I only had the morning and I, I was just like focused on sprinting, I got 2000 words. I mean, 3000 is more, but like you would think with a whole day of work, it would be even more than that. But I definitely just, the afternoon slump really gets to me. And I, I'm, I really would love to identify why that happens and see if there's anything I can do to get past it. Because I have had writing zone days from nine to four in the past. And I would like to not wait for them to happen but be able to make them happen occasionally. I don't know if that's possible. Sometimes, you know, our brains are just gonna do what they're gonna do. So I don't know, but I'm gonna continue to take notes on this and I'm gonna schedule one flow state day a week. I'm gonna try it again next Tuesday and see how it goes and see if I can identify ways to stay in it in the afternoon or maybe another option that I should try is to just start earlier in the morning and make the morning session longer and like expand into the afternoon before I take a break. Maybe that would do it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll experiment again on Tuesday and see how that goes. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to take a little break, close this down and take Rosa out and get ready for this presentation this afternoon. That was great. It was really fun, but screen share just didn't work. I, when I would click share screen in Zoom, it just gave me a little exclamation point. I don't think they had enabled it and they would have had to like shut down the meeting and start over. So, so glad I made that presentation, <laughs> but whatever, it was fine. I ran and grabbed a copy of the dog's meow at least so I could have some visuals to show them. And, um, that's just how it goes sometimes with the technology. Um, so now I've got only an hour and a half before my vaccine is scheduled. So I'm gonna just run Rosa out and we're gonna call it a day. I feel really good about this week. I'm gonna do some brainstorming on what I can do to make the flow state days a little bit more, don't say productive, don't say productive. I don't know what other word to say. I just want to, you know, see if I can get into it anymore, get in the zone a little bit more, um, because I feel like looking back on Tuesday that while I got a lot done, I'm not really measuring it by the word counts. It's more, I really want to have a full day of immersing myself in that book, and I really only lasted till noon. So I'm just going to experiment. Maybe we'll try some new strategies um, next week. I will say that keeping that list really stopped me from scrolling back. Even this morning when I started, when I sat down to write and open the document, I didn't reread what I wrote yesterday. I just like maybe skimmed the last page and then I got right back into it. So that's good. This is working. I'm going to keep doing this for sure. Um, yeah, that's all I've got. All right. This is probably going to be way too long of a vlog, <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you Monday with that midlist video, which yeah, it's going to be fun.